Hello YouTubers. Um, I just wanted to make a quick little video about an epic fail I had recently. Um, recovering gold from some IC chips. Uh, this happened earlier today. I bought a bunch of IC chips that had some gold in them and I processed, I think it was five of them. Yeah, just to get some idea of how much gold there was in each chip. And uh, the solution had gold in it. I just did a stance chloride test. It was there. It was weak. But it was, there was gold in the solution, and I was filtering the pregnant solution of uh, aqua regia. And the filter blew out, and a bunch of uh, IC chip debris and, other st and filter debris and other stuff wound up in the filtrate. So I was going to filter it again, but I thought, well, let me, let me filter out all of this debris so I don't wind up blowing out another filter. So without thinking, I reached for this metal sieve and I filtered out all of the debris through this metal sieve and then proceeded to re-filter re the liquid again and strangely enough suddenly there was no more gold in the liquid and I'm like where the hell did all the gold go and I got to looking at this sieve and I thought well maybe the acid had just attacked it a little bit and tarnished it but no I got to looking at it a little closer that sieve is gold plated that's where all my gold went. Yeah, the stainless steel in the sieve replaced some of the gold in solution, and the gold cemented out on the sieve. Every stinking bit of gold in that solution wound up on this sieve. So that was crazy. So, okay, so, you know, I can serve as a bad example for other people, if nothing else. Do not use metal sieves for gold recovery. And in general, in chemistry, it's just not a good idea. Find yourself a plastic one. So this is going to get relegated to other duties and uh, put away far, far away from the, uh, the gold recovery equipment. So fortunately, it was only a little bit of gold. Like I said, there wasn't much there. Um, just, just, you know, <laughs> maybe a tenth of a gram at the most. So that's not too much gold on there. But hey, I've got the, maybe the world's only partially gold-plated sieve. Maybe I should plate the rest of it so it'll all match. Maybe I could sell it on eBay and make some money. We'll see. But uh, anyway, just uh, wanted to let you all know about this epic fail I had so you guys don't, uh, don't do the same thing. Thanks for watching. Good luck. Bye.